Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to talk about the various industries of the Rajasthan. So what kind of industries functions here and what are the policies of the government with it that we are going to see in this video uh, which is uh, crucial from your RIT examination point of view. So let's start our day with the first topic that is known as called your Commissioner Industries. So if we look at this, so there are 36 district industry centers in Rajasthan working in the state and seven district industry sub centers at Aburur, Balotra, Biawar, Falna, Kisangarh, Makrana and Neemrana okay, have also been set up to cater the need of the small scale industries okay uh, headquarter office of the department okay when you look at the headquarter office of it so it is your Udyog Bhavan Tilak Marg Jaipur where it is located of all the industries If you look at the main function of the commissioner industry is the promotion of the small scale industries to assist in the marketing of their products, development of the salt areas, handcrafts, artisan development, development of handloom etc. The department also provides various uh, concessions and the facilities and assistance for setting up of the industrial units in the state. So this is what the commissioner industries they do for it. Okay. Our next topic of discussion is about uh, MSME. Now what these MSMEs are actually? So MSMEs are a small size entity which are defined in the terms of their investment made in the manufacturing sectors and in service sector. MSMEs functions under the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. Okay, this is what actually the full form of your MSMEs also. Okay, I repeat again that is Ministry of Micro, Small and medium enterprises and act as a nodal agency for micro small and medium enterprises it provides support to different phases of msmes by formulating various schemes at center and the state level such as uh, credit link finance assistance interest subsidy funding support for the various activities a marketing assistant international promotion technology upgradation etc Rajasthan has around 26.87 lakh MSMEs. Okay, this is how much uh, MSMEs are there in the Rajasthan. This kind of question may be framed, they can ask you. And has created an opportunity for 46.3 lakh employment with major thrust on growth of uh, women's MSMEs. That is 3 lakh 80,007 in number. How much women MSMEs are there? 3 lakh 80,007 in number till date. Okay, next we are talking about RICO. So RICO has played a, a catalytic role in the industrial development of Rajasthan services provided by RICO to investors and enterprises, entrepreneurs. Uh, the site selection and acquisition of the land, financial assistance to the small, medium and the large skill projects, equity participant in the large project on merit, technical consultancies of project identification and technical tie-up, escort services, facilitation of government clearances, merchant banking and financial tie-ups, extending incentives and uh, concessions according to the policy of state government and department of industries. And next we have RFC. Okay, so let's go ahead with RFC. So what is this RFC? RFC stands for Rajasthan Financial Corporation. Okay, is what constituted under a notification of the state government dated 17th January 1955 under SF Act 1951 for providing long term financial support to tiny, small, and medium scale industries. This is what the objective of RFC Rajasthan Financial Corporation. Rajasthan Financial Corporation offers the most favored destination of the industries in India. The vast mineral resources, livestock, uh, tourism potential coupled with the commitment of the government offer a tremendous potential to the uh, upcoming industries. The state has developed a strong industrial basis where different type of industries such as your agro-based, textile, tourism, ceramic, chemical, drug formulation, engineering, electronic and IT sectors have great potential. Okay, next we have Bureau of Investment Promotion. In short, it is also known as called BIP. Okay, it is the agency in charge of investment promotion 
and single window clearance in the state of Rajasthan, India. The BIP also plays a significant role in developing the investment policies for the state. Our mission is to support investors that are exploring investment opportunities in Rajasthan. Services are focused on investment above INR 10 crore, okay, that is in US dollar is your 2.2 million. Okay. So Bureau of Investment Promotion have multidisciplinary team with sector specific expertise which allows us to provide prospective investors with value added advices and information. Okay, further we talk about BIP, so BIP that is Bureau of Investment Promotion has played a catalytic role in industrial development of Rajasthan services provided by BIP to investors and entrepreneurs include site selection and acquisition of the land financial assistance to small mediums and the large scale projects, equity participation in the large projects on merit technical consultancies for the project, identification and technical tie up escort services, facilitation of the government uh, clearance and merchant banking and financial tie ups, extending incentives and concessions according to the policy of state government and department of industries. Okay, next we have BPE. Now what is this BP? BP is the Bureau of Public Enterprise. It was constituted in the year 1978 under the administrative control of State Enterprise Department. It was reconstituted White Department of Personal and Administrative Reforms Order Number This. Okay, that as you can see that is F757 AR oblique this is this and dated 5th September 1984. All right. So the important thing here is that in which year BPE, that is Bureau of Public Enterprise, was constituted, that is 1978. This Bureau of Public Enterprise was constituted in 1978 under administrative control of State Enterprise Department. BPE is a permanent body under administrative control State Enterprise Department, which is headed by your Principal Secretary. Okay, BPE obtains quarterly performance reports and annual reports uh, from the PCUs and evaluates them. Based on the evaluation, necessary direction are given to the PCUs for improvement in their performance. Okay, next we are talking about Rajasthan Khadi and Village Industries Board, which is in short, this is also known as called your RKVIB. Okay is the short form of it. So if you look at about K R K V I B, so it says Khadi, which is also known as called Khadar. This is another name for it. It simply means cotton. Okay, usually hand spun means handmade. Khadi is Indian hand spun and hand woven cloth. The raw material may be cotton, silk or wool. See for raw material it can be cotton, silk or wool also, which are the spun into the threads on a spinning wheel called charkha. As you all know, right? Mahatma Gandhi is popular for that. So Gandhi is a versatile fabric, uh, cool in summer and warm in winter. Okay, it's versatile means you can adopt in any, you can wear it or use it in any kind of weather condition. Being a cruder form of material, it crumples much faster than other prep uh, preparations of the cotton. In order to improve the look, khadi is often stretched to have a stiffer shape. It is widely accepted in fashion circles these days. Your khadi is Indian hand spun and hand woven cloth. The raw material may be cotton, silk, wool, which are spun into the threads and spinning wheels are called as charkha. Uh, okay, next we have Rajasthan Foundation. We need to understand what is this Rajasthan Foundation is. So Rajasthan Foundation is an organization set up by the government of Rajasthan that works in the noble direction of strengthening the bonds between non-resident Rajasthani community and the state. Okay of their origin. Uh, here what happens is that government invite the entire Pravasi Rajasthan community to come and connect to their motherland Rajasthan which is emerging as one of the best destination for the investment, growth and development is what the government is saying. So the establishment of uh, Rajasthan foundation reflects the state government's determination to nurture its interaction with its noble sons 
and we are committed to promote and facilitate every step by the non-resident Rajasthani to contribute into the growth and development of Rajasthan. So this is the program. Rajasthan Foundation is a program in which especially the government is concentrating on the NRIs, those who are living abroad and they want to contribute for in any form for the development of Rajasthan. Your Rajasthan Foundation is a platform through which eminent Pravasi Rajasthanis like your Sri Ellen Mittal, Lakshmi Mittal, right? We call it Sri Kumar Mangalam Birla, Sri Rahul Bajaj. Okay, they have participated in the journey of socio-economic development of the state. Today, there is hardly any field of activity, okay, uh, or be it a business, public welfare, education, art, literature, sports, politics, science, medicine, engineering, whatever industries are there, where Rajasthan have not achieved a remarkable and unprecedented success. Okay, no matter where they went, Rajasthan's remained in their heart and emotions. Means, whose heart and emotion we are talking about? All these business people, those who have contributed for the development of the Rajasthan. Okay, under this. Uh, program right Rajasthan Foundation that is known as called Rajasthan Foundation uh, next we have RCIC so what is this RCIC that is the Rajasthan Small Industry Corporation that you need to understand here all right Rajasthan Small Industries Corporation so this was in year 1961 okay the year 1961 witnessed the birth of it means this is the time when it was started uh, as a government of Rajasthan undertaking okay and in 1975 RSIC was accorded the status of public limited company okay what it guys what status is got it got the status of public limited company in which year that was in 1975 it plays a major role in promoting the handicrafts products okay and its role is for producing what handicraft products major role the corporation assists the craftsmen by providing them what designs and facilities for making the uh, making of the products uh, it has various training and design research centers to enable the craftsmen keep pace with the, the latest trends in the market in the face of constant competition. Okay, next we have Bunkar Sangh. Okay, so to support the handloom weaver of Rajasthan by grouping them into the various societies and strengthen the cooperative movement, the government of Rajasthan established RRBSS on 26th August. Uh, 1957 okay this is when uh, Rajasthan Bunkar Singh came into existence uh, this is an apex means the highest marketing body for the handloom cooperative society of the state okay next we are talking about the rural non-farm development agency which is also known as called your RUDA R U D A RUDA so RUDA or your rural non-farm development agency was established in your November 1995 by the government of Rajasthan as an independent agency to promote what was the purpose to promote the rural non-farm sectors RNFS in the state okay RUDA follows a sub-sectoral integrated and the cluster based approach for promoting the rural micro enterprises for rural artisans RUDA is a registered under the society registration act giving it a certain autonomy means independency and flexibility in its function ruda is registered under the society registration act 1958 they may ask you that uh, when it was registered and under which act giving it a certain autonomy and flexibility in its functioning over last 14 years ruda has evolved and uh, as an innovative creative and high professional agencies to achieve its daunting but challenging mandate okay next we are going to talk about your delhi mumbai industrial corridor that is also known as called dmic in short okay so let's look ahead so what your dmic says it says that rajasthan touches six major states how many six states okay uh, of the northern western and central india rajasthan's location is like that so it is a natural corridor okay, between the wealthy northern and the prosperous western states of the country which makes it an important trade centers okay so that is why the rajasthan has become important because it is touched with the northern part as well as the your southern part western part eastern parts even all right so this is how it is important okay next we have dmic in rajasthan so with nearly 39 percent of dfc passing through rajasthan 
opportunities for industrial establishment along the route are eminent as the corridor will make the Rajasthan easily accessible to western and northern markets. About 60% of the state's area in 22 districts including major districts such as your Jaipur, Alwar, Kota and Bilwara falls within the project influence area. Okay, that is your DMIC project. Okay, with this, the state will become an attractive destination for setting up the industrial and support infrastructure units. Now, in the series, our next topic is about Rajasthan State Handloom Development Corporation. Okay, and in short, it is known as called your RHDC. All right. So, Rajasthan State Handloom Development Corporation. It was constituted in year 1984 with the objective to promote the cotton handloom textile sectors of Rajasthan. This is its objective. It plays a very pivotal, pivotal means very important or the key role in a skill upgradation, design and development and market facilitation or traditional viewers and artisans of the state in modern techniques. Okay. Now by setting the above program, RHDC assists the viewers. It also helps the viewers okay, and artisans to meet the demands of the market for the simple villagers who has always been a main loom worker, weaving of fabric ran on conventional lines but now with assistance from RHDC, the weaver is more equipped to cater the modern market requirements. Miss RHDC is giving opportunity even to the uh, small scale workers also. And further we have this uh, Prashadilal Meena. He is an Indian politician and currently serving as a cabinet minister of industrial development state enterprise and also we have Arjun Singh Bhimania. He is also serving as the minister of industry development and state enterprises. Alright guys, so with this is all about the brief introduction about all the industries of the Rajasthan. Thank you very much for watching and best wishes ahead all the way. Okay, bye bye and have a nice day.